Hi, my name is Nate with Westside Recreation Boat Rentals. Uh, when you get here for your rental, just come to the Pleasant Harbor Marina side of the lake, go through the entrance, take your first right at the stop sign, and then take your next right again at the fire station. We'll be in the parking lot in one of the first couple rows. With all of our rentals, please do not cruise the shoreline or beach them. It can cause major damage. Thank you for running one of our Yamaha twin motor jet boats. I'll be showing you how to operate it and as well as use any safety equipment with it. Now we'll start up here at the front of the boat. The anchor is going to be up in this compartment. Right in here. Just be sure when you're connecting that, to connect it on one of the four cleats on each corner of the boat. Here in your bag here, you have two dock ties, your tube rope, a pump if you rent a tube, as well as a wakeboard ski rope in there. Fire extinguisher is located over in this compartment. And then to start it, reach up first key and second key. If you can't hear the second one start after the first does, just look at the RPMs. They'll be around 12, 1300 RPM. Just an easy way to tell. Since there's two keys, there'll be two throttles. Always easiest to just use them as one. Straight up and down is neutral. Let's go forward. You feel it go into gear here. Then you'll have acceleration. Then you go reverse. You feel it go in reverse gear backwards. And then you have acceleration backwards. Buttons up here. Stereo button is right here. Bilge button right here. And blower's right here. Run the blower and bilge once every hour or so, or if you've been sitting for a while, run it a few minutes before you start going again. Uh, stereo in this top compartment. Just Bluetooth, uh, no password or anything, just connects like a aftermarket car deck. Life vests on this boat are located in here. Anyone 12 or under needs to have a life vest on at all times. Um, if you need any other sizes once you get here, let us know. There's also a throw pillow up here, as well as a flag in case anybody's in the water, just have somebody hold that up. To connect the rope on this boat, just get the one end put it around the tab, then pull it tight. Make sure there's somebody back here keeping it tight and away from the back of the where the motor's located. It can get sucked up into the jet pumps and possibly cause severe damage, which will result in you losing your deposit. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask when you get here or even call ahead.